people. The worst thing you can tell somebody that's in love with somebody that's no good for them is this. Just leave him. When I was in what I was in, the worst thing people could tell me was leave my man. Oh, because I wasn't leaving my man. You might leave me when the conversation is over. You might leave your man, but I wasn't leaving my man. My mama did this one thing that made me want to leave my man, right? I'm sitting there telling her all the bad stuff and she says, you will get tired. But they leave for multiple, they stay for multiple reasons. It could be, you know, financial reasons, low self-esteem, because a lot of times what I've come across is women that stayed in relationships like that. It's because the men pretty much broke them down to a point where it's like, okay, the, the women think that they need that man for whatever yeah. reason. Oh my God. Damn. No Diddy. We can't call yeah, nobody. No Diddy, y'all. We can't no call diddy. nobody the P word while yeah. these <laughs> allegations are flying. No, no R. Kelly. Oh, damn. No, no Robert. No, no Robert. <laughs> 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 no robbery, y'all. <laughs> oh, man. Well, what we got for video number three? Shall we? Are, are we signed to video number three? Yeah, now? Number three. Video let's number go. Three. Let me see. Video number three. So we got video number three. A woman says that this is the worst thing that you can tell her, tell someone who who is in a toxic relationship. You have any idea? I don't. You got any idea what we'll it is? We'll see. We'll see. Oh, let's find out, man. Little peanut kick this off right here. Oh, let's go. The worst thing you can tell somebody that's in love with somebody that's no good for them is this. Just leave him. When I was in what I was in, the worst thing people could tell me was leave my man. Oh, because I wasn't leaving my man. You might leave me when the conversation is over. You might leave your man, but I wasn't leaving my man. My mama did this one thing that made me want to leave my man, right? I'm sitting there telling her all the bad stuff and she says, you would get tired. I'm like, no, mom. I'm like, my ass black. black. She like, it'll come a day. Oh, that right there? That'll do it. I'm like, mom, he was talking so crazy to me. Like, she said, you can always come home. The day I left my mama house and I said I was moving out and me and my man, we was going to be together. That's just what it was. She helped me pack up the car. She said, all right, if it work, it work. And if it don't, it don't, right? And we drove off until the sunset, y'all. Yes, it. Yeah. And then when we got into it or whatever, a couple times, then I came back home and she was like, you all right? I said, I ain't never going back to him. She would walk into my room and say, you all right? Then when my man had told me it's time to pack up and leave my mama house again, and, and, and it's time for us to be together again, I packed my stuff up. Cause my mama was so mad, and I could tell she was so mad, right? But she came over, she got us toiletry, she got us everything. Yes, she did, she was supportive. Then I came home again, cause you know, it got bad again, and then she said, you will get tired. Baby, I was looking ran down, stressed and depleted and depressed, and she said, you ready now? I said, I am so done with him. She said, you will get tired. Sometimes you gotta tell people to stay. Cause if you tell them to leave, as humans, we wanna do the opposing thing. So here it is, baby, stay. Stay, if that's what you're into. Cause sometimes we get an adrenaline rush back and forth with another person. It's a chemical imbalance. It's something we get addicted to. But one day you're gonna start to hate the highs and lows of your body chemistry going up and down. And one day you're gonna hate the highs and lows of your mental going up and down. And one day you're gonna hate the highs and lows of the highs and lows with somebody. You just wanna stay regulated, right? You will get tired. I'm not gonna sit on this app and keep telling you. Just leave. Just, you're not gonna leave. You will get tired. So, T, I got a couple Gee, questions. I'm going to ask you this. So, what would you say to someone who's in a toxic relationship or, or in a oh, abusive man. relationship? I've, 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 I've lived through that um, with girlfriends or whatever. And at the end of the day, pretty much I would just ask them, okay, look, you good? What you need mm -hmm. from me? Or, you know, they would, they would ask my advice. I would tell them my advice. I said, but look, I know that's not what you want to do, but this is what I need you to do. Just stay safe. Yeah. If you ever need to come to my house, my house is always an open, safe space for you and your kids. But at the end of the day, people are there. When they get tired, they'll yeah. get tired. But they leave for multiple. They stay for multiple reasons. It could be, you know, financial reasons, low self-esteem, because a lot of times what I've come across is women that stayed in relationships like that. It's because the men pretty much broke them down to a point where it's like, okay, the the women think that they need that man for whatever yeah. reason. And and that's why they always pretty much stay. So do, do you think there's anything that a friend or family member can say to make them like, no, yo, come on, no, you know, come to your all. senses? No, not at all. For real? A person got to live through it and grow through it and they just got to just figure it out on their own because no matter what. I can tell you to leave that man a hundred times and what you want to do is to think, yeah. oh no, she a hater. Nah, nah, nah. Nope. 
they gotta they gotta do it on their own because at the end of the day it's like if they're not tired enough of that guy beating on them or whatever the case may be because a lot of times they say you know better women it takes them about i think the statistics are like seven to eight chances tries but before they finally Word. leave and yeah. and don't let children be involved if children are involved oh my man it makes it even harder hmm. cj what do you think bro i think <clears throat> excuse me well wait well, well let me ask you oh, this okay. i got i got a question okay. for you <laughs> do you think a positive male role model in a woman's life who would make her see that she's in a toxic relationship because i'm sure um, like i i know as a father i'll be like yo I your think, baby girl either you gonna leave him or i'm gonna kill him one or the other i think that that definitely that definitely will help but yeah. i also think is that the like like speaking to that woman when she's young and finding out like what's her what's her likes her dislikes because i know a lot of people that have had you know great fathers and they mm -hmm. chose trash men and it's like well your father was a great guy like why what would make you choose somebody like that's the total opposite and i think sometimes it's just like if the father's not really talking to her and understanding why she would make those type, type of decision is she does she have a self-esteem issue is she hanging around with the wrong people so i think that that happens and and yeah the father is important or just a a, a good male role model yeah. but it's also talking to the women because again once you get like my mom and dad was married i'll use my, myself my mom and dad was married but and my dad was faithful to my mom but i wasn't trying to hear what old head was saying i was seeing on the videos <laughs> that they was getting the hose and i was trying to be outside getting the hose so like I, I, sometimes yeah, i think it, and again my dad at? never really he never really talked to me about relationships like you know yeah. he told me you know cherish the woman be nice to her and all but he never told me about like temptation like yeah. i think he should have talked to me about that like yo listen you gonna be tempted that you know you you might like this girl but you won't be tempted because of just biology mm -hmm. we ain't mm -hmm. really had those conversations so <laughs> i'm just seeing my friends around me. my friends is making fun of me because i got a, a girlfriend and it's the only girl i talk to and they're like what you doing that for like well, come on it's all these girls so i didn't know and then it's like all right you some a lot of times you just fold under the peer pressure because you're young and you don't know no better yeah. and you're not confident in yourself to stand out nobody wants to be the outlier where i'm doing this i'm by myself nobody's doing this and even any making fun of me and i'm still going to do it you don't do that when you're young you want to be a part of the in crowd you want to be like yeah you, want, you know so yeah um i just think when she said like you know the the, the information her mom was giving her as a as a parent i'm not going to just tell my kid my son being dogged out by a woman i'm not going to just be like well all right go ahead when you tired you, you know tired. i'm like yo she's a <laughs> whore bro okay <laughs> i'm gonna let, i'm gonna give you the information you got a father talking about You'll get tired. No, <laughs> she didn't smash. Uh, uh, it was it was Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky. No, no, she's a bro. She's a HOE. I'm sorry, oh can't gosh. say that. She HOE, bro. That, Come on, that get, girl get is poison. She is. Never <laughs> trust I mean, a big brother. Smile. I mean, like uh, the one thing me as as a father, I could not just sit by and and i i don't want to take it to the extent because i we don't know their, their situation right. right if it was abusive or maybe it was just verbally toxic i could not sit by and just watch my daughter continuously be hurt you know what i mean time after time you know what i mean that that listen i couldn't sit by and watch my son right <clears throat> You know, because if he come to me talking about man, dad, that girl cheating on me, man, what? Yeah, the fuck but I mean, at the end, I mean, what, what are you doing? I ain't so trying that bullshit. Let's just say, okay, in that situation, your daughter, you're telling her, you're guiding her, but she still don't want to listen. So what do you do? Like, because I've had guys who, yeah. you know, that are fathers and they did the best they could. Like, I know a guy who's a therapist, and you know, like you would have thought that his kids would be fine, and you got this one girl is. Dylan, you know, got three kids, you know, and and, and and got this abusive boyfriend. And like you would have never thought his kids would have like any situations like that. But at the end of the day, it's like he just kept trying to support her and the, kids yeah. and the babies because she kept having the babies. But it's like, OK, what, what more can you really do? Yeah, but then a lot of our children have to understand that as a father, when when you see your kid or your children self-destructing or just doing things it's that it's that protector in you 
Like, yo, like you don't know how much you are hurting your parent. Because you're, as, as I don't know how mothers feel, but as a father, you, you always want to protect your child. Always want to protect your children. So what happens to them, it's, it's like, a, it feels like a reflection on you. Like, well, damn, right. I, couldn't, I couldn't protect my, my daughter. I got right. this man beating on my daughter. Yeah, man, I, all I'm saying is that it, it I think it really depends happen. on the person. I wouldn't just say uh, you know well, mothers yeah, compared yeah. to fathers because everybody's upbringing is different, and I know some women who are mothers that are totally different from other mothers. So I think it really depends on the person. Again, I, I'll never forget um, in the, uh, Tyler Perry one of those movies. Medea says. Yeah, you you know, one day you got to get sick and tired of being sick and tired. All right. And to me, I, that, that's one of the most profound, you know, um, sayings that I've ever heard because I've seen it a million times. Yeah, you just got to get sick and tired of being sick and tired. And then hopefully, like my dad used to always say to me, a smart man learns from his mistakes. A wise man learns from the mistake of others. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. that's big for me because it's like, all right, if I see you going through somewhere i see you doing oh i don't want to go down that route uh if that's what the ending is i'm cool so i think that again just exposing people to different stuff and just having them understand I, i'm happy that the, i'm sad that the internet exists sometimes but i'm happy that it exists because you get to see certain things from a certain light i just yep. read about this man that um he uh married his wife in detroit married his wife they was only married for like six months and he got upset with her over something and so they was you know domestic violence she ran in the bathroom locked herself in the bathroom was trying to get out the window he he bust the wind he bust the uh door down the door shot her 50 15 times Dang. And, and I like, guarantee you, with something like that, if he did that, that was not the first time. Right. Yeah. When it comes yeah. to physical abuse, it always escalates. It's always going to start off small and, oh, baby, I'm sorry, I didn't and mean it. And then it that. increases over time. So if he got to that point, he got used to being himself. Yeah. That was himself coming out. So, yeah, no situation. Like, I, yeah. I ain't trying to have my right. daughter. So, listen, no, you know. my own boy getting bopped upside the head. Yeah, ain't that the know. truth, man? This John Podcast, man. <laughs> this John Podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Like.